The Day the Crayons Came Home by Drew Daywalt. Pictures by Oliver Jeffers. One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily colouring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. Dear yeah, Duncan, not sure if you remember me. Uh, my name is Maroon Crayon. Uh, you only coloured with me once to draw a scab, but uh, whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago in the coach, and then your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come and get me. And, and can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned crayon. Marooned crayon. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the colour. Pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Estebane the Magnificent. Ooh, the crayon normally known as uh, P. Green. Hi, Duncan. It's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great holiday we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? <laughs> the colour of the sun, but guess what? Neither of us wants to be the colour of the sun anymore. Though since we were left I say together and the sun melted us together. You know the real colour of the sun? Hot! That's what we're sorry for liking. You can make green for sun for all we care, just bring us home. You're no so sunny, friends. Yellow and orange. Hey, uh, Duncan. I'm sure you don't recognize me uh, after the horrors I've been through. Uh, I think I was a um, uh, tan crayon, or maybe a um, uh, burnt sienna. Uh, I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Um, uh, ha have you ever been eaten by a dog? And, and puked up all over the living room rug. Because I have, uh, I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug, Duncan. Um, and it's not pretty, not pretty at all. Uh, I'm more carpet fuzz than uh, crayon now. Um, can you please bring me back um, your indigestible friend, um, Tan? Or, or, or possibly burnt sienna. Crayon. Yeah. Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Estimane the Magnificent. Um, uh, uh, hey Duncan, uh, remember last Halloween when we, we told your little brother there was a, a ghost under the basement stairs? Uh, and then we drew that scary stuff on the wall? Uh, sure, that, that was funny when, when he ran screaming, right? Uh, but it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement! Uh, please come and get me! <laughs> I'm kind of, uh, it's a terribly horrified. Um, you're, 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 you're a scared friend. Um, glow in the dark crayon. <laughs> Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France, uh, I think. Just crossing Newcastle by camel now. Newcastle has uh, giant pyramids, right? See you soon. Neon red crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I, I think. Uh... Duncan, does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? 
I told you it'd make me blunt. So if you coloured each coin individually, but would you listen? <laughs> no. I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also, no. Now I can't colour anything at all. <sighs> Your pointless friend, Gold Crayon. I had to write it for him. <laughs> this is not fun for me either, you know. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy. I'm coming back. It's the main, the magnificent. Uh, hi, Duncan. Uh, yeah, probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. Uh, a question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. So can you please come and get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? Oh, your stinky socky stucky on the head body. Turquoise crayon. P.S. Sock says I. Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I, I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top of my head. He put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall, and try to color rubbish with me. The worst part is he is a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Picasso said every child is an artist. But I, I don't know. I don't think he makes your brother. Please rescue me, your desperate friend, big chunky toddler crayon. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest. Making great time. I think I'm almost home. Neon Red Crayon. Woo! Hello, Duncan. It's me, Brown Crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Chocolate, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? But they don't know what else you use me to color, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great. But did it really need that final brown scribble, huh? I'll come back. But please, let's stick to chocolate, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, Brown Crayon. Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fitted in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. No dogs down there, are they? Nope. No turkeys either. Oh, you flatter me, but it's not it's real not chocolate. This one is for my blue period. But it's not really blue, more like light. Make sure it's straight. I think that door is for us. Oh, there you are. I could do with a haircut. Oh, there isn't a metal detector. Welcome. What are you wearing? He goes by Ted. I'm Ted. Good lads. And then in Cleveland, I got to hack the Great Wall of China. Ooh.